Since you guys showed incredible support on the last episode with over 500k views in the first month, I thought why wait another year to make a new one. Welcome back to episode number 9 of Tennis Hidden Chats You Surely Ignored. A series where we take a look at some of the rarest moments in tennis that you might have missed or never heard of. As always, if you see something new here, you drop a like. And if you don't, and I highly doubt that, you leave a like as well so that I could make part 10 as soon as possible. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to check out the previous episodes. I'll leave a link in the description. And without further ado, let's get started. Sends it long, and as shocking as the first match was, the second one just as shocking. Alexandra Delgado in straight sets defeats Eugenie Bouchard. 6 4, 6 4. And now this is all tied up. Well, I think a lot of folks thought this was going to be one all after the first day, but not like this. That's yeah, it was an open moment yesterday. And the thing about Fed Cup is that um, it's a spirit kind of competition and it's about fair play and about all those those good values. Um, doing that, like she said it's her superstition, it was nothing personal, but doing that goes a bit in contradiction with those values. So it was a bit awkward, but, and I said, you know what, maybe that motivates me a bit more. But I just try not to think about it and I say, you know, everyone has their thing. I also have my thing, so. Uh, I just don't believe in wishing my, my opponents good luck before a match. We never shake hands uh, before a match on the WTA circuit, ever, or in Grand Slams. And, uh, you know, it's nothing personal against that specific opponent or the country or anything like that. And uh, I'll gladly shake her hand after the match. Um, but I just, you know, don't believe in, in wishing her good luck because, you know, that's, that would be lying, that would be fake. Yeah, it was a bit of a, a bit of a response to, to that. I mean, maybe to what uh, Gigi did, but it was more Да, вот эта бравада внешняя, которую то и дело показывает Ник Кирис, все-таки это напускное, видите? Думаю, что... She wins, Sharapova. Playing the big points big. 
she'd gotten tentative for a couple of points in this game and got herself in trouble. And that... 40, 15. So now too much points. <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> I need to pay attention. <laughs> the ball just uh, entered the commentary box. Yeah. <laughs> And so about to well, that was it. The sneaky serve. Well, there you go. Four. I think that sums up Bernard Tomic and Nick Kyrgios. Right there, in one point. Straight sets. The sneaky. <laughs> yeah, that was... <laughs> I've seen everything. I don't know if we're going to get another look at that. That was pretty amazing on match point. What a way for what a match to finish. But, uh, well, Kyrgios was looking towards the side of the court. Here it comes. Here it is. This so is walks up. Match point, Burn Atomic. <laughs> that's that's pretty cheeky. Yes. You both were having a bit of a chat, obviously, through the game. It appears at one stage you're talking about the balls. We know what Bernie thinks of the balls. What are your thoughts? Um, they're okay. Um, I don't mean I don't really care much fair enough well, B Bernie you had something to say yes so I thought I might as well ask you and just before we say goodbye Bernie for you yourself you've obviously now played three matches the second one was only a small one but you said you were pretty tired just then uh, how do you feel now yeah just to stop you there wasn't there some guy that complained about a spider in Perth and called the police or something at the same time by a spider I don't know, the police came to a household that a guy was trying to beat up a spider and like, same day as Nick got like, I just flashed in my head. Huh? I, I got no idea. All right, both of you obviously, uh, preparations for the Australian... I just didn't want to answer the questions. Yeah, I, I got that one. Thanks so much for leaving me short. We really appreciate you talking to us and all the best for the Australian Open. All of Australia is obviously behind you. Thanks, guys. Stepanek llevó el punto a un quinto set. Pero después de cinco horas y siete minutos de un tenis vibrante. Slavky bonbon. Dnes Radek Štěpánek rozbalovat nebude. Tolik se těšil. A dopadlo to možná nejhůř jak mohlo. Radek prohrává 7-9 v páté sadě. A Janko Tipsarevič srovnává stav zápasů mezi Českem a Srbskem na 1-1. Nevím, Tip Sarevič tam teď navezl do jednoho ze sběračů, jsem měl pocit. Ještě si tam s tím vyříkával nějaké účty, netuším, ale teď už je v obětí celého srbského týmu a srbové dál žijí svou postupovou naději, protože... Ovaj... Evo, svi čuju, svi će vidjeti, možete da zamyslíte posle koliko, 5 sáty, 7 minuta, umesto da mi prilužuje ruku, člověk mi dá srední prst. I totálno jsem odlepil. Ali, pobedil jsem... Volo bi da kažem da sam odigrao jedan od najlošijih mečeva za reprezentaciju, ali, zahvaljujući podršci prvom mog selektora Bogdana Obradovića, pa i moje klupe, Srbija je... ...leads the league and bounces before serve, does Djokovic. And clips it in the corner. That's all right, guys. That's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Mm -hmm. Okay, wow. so we'll see. He probably does that every time. Oh. We tennis players, Dick, have uh, a lot of idiosyncrasies out there. Sandra Dushenkin, the French umpire. Quite an honor. Place a lady in the chair for this French quarterfinal for men. Absolutely amazing career, and it's wonderful to have you on, on our team. And um, please welcome Rafa Nadal.